personally, do I think George Bush should have just been lived, allowed to live a life where he painted happy paintings of dogs? Sure. Right? But he didn't. He did not do that. He went into another country. He caused mass chaos that they're still dealing with. Over a million deaths and counting. It's, it's, it's a criminal act. You don't think that uh, there's a kind of trend here about redemption as a means of just forgetting crimes that have gone in the past? Has he apologized? Has he owned up to it? Has Cheney owned up to it? Has anybody owned up to it in that administration? Has Obama owned up to his war crimes? Has Hillary Clinton owned up to her war crimes? No, I don't think so. All right, Shalom. This is Howard One by Nyasha of the Lions Den Camp. I want to say, Kyle Halayim, La Yahweh, Bahashim, Hawashai, Bahashim, Harakakodash, Mahamath. Double honor to the elder apostles of GMS and the elders. Shalom to you, Akim, and Akwati, my children that believe in sincerity and truth around the four corners of the earth. Um, I'm going to this topic, man. You see uh, this chick on that uh, news site, she was speaking about the crimes of these Edomites, man. And that's just in their spirit, all right? And he, what you call agents, all right? Agent chairs of the Illuminati, which would be people like the people she named, man. She named Bush. She named uh, which you had you, you can't throw um, you can't have George W. Bush without throwing his daddy in there George uh, G. W. Bush or whatever, right? Then you had um, she named Obama, which he's a Hamite. He's not our people, so he's another heathen. And you have she named Clinton, or right, Hillary Clinton specifically. Now, if, if really if you go through a lot of these Edomites and these heathens. Uh, these rulers of these uh, of America, what they would call presidents or governors or um, military leaders, they, you know, uh, if you pull their tab, uh, they're going to be known as murderers, man. All right, and they sweep it under the rug. They call what they call. Um, you got to look. Y'all should look up a movie or a series. I think it's on Netflix called The Family. All right, the family. And within that, what they call themselves is Christians. All right. And the Lord never told us to be Christians. Ever since um, um, President Eisenhower in, in the 1950s, uh, they was they dubbed themselves, America called themselves Christians in a, a political, um, you know, defense or competition against Russia, who called themselves atheists. All right. So they call themselves Christians just to um, gain some type of covering or disguise for uh, going to war, to be able to have a say so in the political, in the religious arena, you know. Uh, so that's the only reason they call themselves Christians. And within that, they have this uh, secret society to where they forgive each other. They, they got this motto to where they say uh, everybody forgives the sheep, but who forgives the wolf? And that's what they do. They forgive the wolf. They say, you're forgiven. <laughs> and they say, uh, Jesus forgives you. See that? But they're basically saying the devil forgives you. But the Lord ain't forget about the crimes that they committed, even to the children of Israel. It shows their mindset, what they're into, man. Um, now I want to speak about something. I'm going to hit some scriptures in a minute. All right, matter of fact, yeah, because um, this is Habakkuk 2 and 4. Behold, his soul which is lifted up in him, which is lifted up is not upright in him, but the just shall live by faith. Yea, also because he transgressed by wine, all right, through his philosophies, through their, um, you know, their, their deception, what they call demonocracy, and their uh, religious uh, deception as well and policies alright it says and is as deaf right so they're as deaf man so the mindset of these heathens especially Esau the ambassador of the, of the heathens they um they're as deaf man and what it says so like I skipped it it says yea also because he transgressed by wine he is a proud man Neither keepeth at home, man. So they've been what sending their armies out 
all around the world calling themselves what the hammer of the earth that's what they are man they call themselves peacekeepers well really their peace is nothing but destruction all right and they call themselves bringing um uh order but they really bring cause the chaos and they they say order out of chaos you know to where they they cause the chaos and they try to have have a remedy to fix it for you right you know available so anyway, they cause a war or a prolonged war in the Middle East or have a false flag attack, which gives them uh, a reason to go into these areas. Then what they that sets up a, a space for control anywhere they, they can can continue um, having their the military being involved and in, uh political leaders from over here in America, every time something happens, you hear about them sending Pompeo over there, sending um, Cheney, sending all these different people, or who's the, ne the vice president now, Pence. All right? So they got their hand involved in other men's matters. So now it says, they, it says they're a proud man. Who's that talking about? Esau. All right? That mindset. Neither keepeth at home who enlargeth his desire as hell, right, which is sorrow. Anyway, they set their desires, they bring sorrow. And it is as death, man. All right? They're, they're like the spreading of hell upon the earth. And it is as death. So it is as sin and as destruction. And cannot be satisfied but gathereth unto him all nations and heapeth unto him all people. All right, and it's talking about Esau, but ultimately it's talking about America. This is Joel 2 and 20. Behold, oh, it says, but I will remove far off from you the northern army. And that northern army represents the North American uh, army, you know, United States military. And it says what? That's, that's boots on the ground, you know, in the Navy, the the Air Force. All from 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 even that lady she named it. She said from Bush all the way up to Obama. And all the way up to Obama, you had uh um uh, drone strikes. All right, that's when it increased in uh, advanced technology. So it says and will drive him into a land barren and desolate. So the Lord using Esau's desire and greed against themselves to where they neither keep at home, but now the Lord said, all right, I'm, I'm going to make you fall into your own ditch, your own trap. To where he, he removed them into a land barren and desolate, right? And what's that land? It's talking about Saudi Arabia. All right, which would um, or which would later called um, uh, which which their direction they was aiming in was towards Iraq. All right, and ultimately to to um, to be led into their own demise or their own perdition, to where they start a war with Iran and Russia. All right, so, and that's World War Three, all to bring about the Most High's prophe prophecies. But in the midst of that, the Lord going to have uh, Esau play the wicked. All right? Be known as murderers in that day. So the Lord can judge him. All right? With his face towards the east and his hinder part towards the utmost sea. And his stink shall come up and his ill savor shall come up because he have done great things, man. So, you know, his wickedness has reached into the heavens. And uh, there was a lot of dead bodies over there, even still. Especially when your house shot show up, he's going to lead them bodies over there to stink. Now, I'm going to get this right here. It says, um, with his face towards the east sea and his hinder part towards the utmost sea. All right, right here you have what you call the first Gulf War, which was with the uh, daddy Bush, you know, the uh, George Bush Sr., and he um, was on video talking about a new world order. Cold War. We have before.
before us the opportunity to forge for ourselves and for future generations a new world order, a world where the rule of law, not the law of the jungle, governs the conduct of nations. We're successful, and we will be. We have a real chance at this new world order, an order in which a credible United Nations can use its peacekeeping role to fulfill the promise and vision of the UN's founders. On the night of February 26th, 41 days after war began, planes and helicopters attacked thousands of Iraqis fleeing Kuwait, soldiers and civilians. The bombing began at midnight and continued for hours. There was no escape. Pool reporters filmed the aftermath. Over 60 miles of highway, littered with thousands of cars, buses, trucks, and a handful of tanks. The bodies were never counted. And how did American TV report what it called the highway of death? Everywhere along this highway, there is evidence of the panic of the retreating Iraqi army. Many tanks were simply abandoned as soldiers fled the city. Commentary transformed troops in disarray into an army in fighting retreat. The remains of Saddam Hussein's military disaster. There was no mention of civilians. Soldiers killed. Be advised. Is it a war crime? On the night of February 26, 1991, the Iraqi army formed a massive column and began retreating using Highway 80, which connected Iraq to Kuwait. That's when the coalition forces attacked. U.S. and Canadian Air Force planes bombed the front and rear of the column to prevent a retreat. For the next several hours, coalition forces dropped hundreds of bombs on the trapped soldiers, slaughtering everyone and destroying every vehicle in sight. When the sun rose the next morning, the highway was littered with mangled vehicles and thousands of bodies. This road has since been dubbed the Highway of Death. The refused to admit its brutality and even attempted to cover up this very obvious war crime. Despite the U.S. administration's attempts to tell a different story in the media, the truth eventually came out. American commanders have never been formally charged or disciplined for their actions. All right, so now you understand the scriptures where it says they enlarge their desire as hell, man, and is as death. All right, they call that the highway of death, you know? And that's that's something left in the path after um, George Bush Sr. And the first Gulf War was started in, uh, uh, which was announced on August 2nd, 1991. All right, it was kicked off or whatever around that time. <laughs> Now, um, and they blamed it on Saddam Hussein going into Kuwait because uh, America had was an ally with Kuwait, uh, really took over Kuwait and had that whole um, oil and took over their resources. Now, um, so Saddam Hussein went in, went into Kuwait and that's when George Bush Sr. came out and announced is it, this is a perfect opportunity for a new world order. See that? They want to bring in a new world order. What's that new world order? To where um, the government is, is, is one government that rules everything. All right? Gover governs religion, governs everything. Every walk of life. And that's their new world order. That's their system. All right? The image of the beast. Now, um, they went into Kuwait and they blamed it on Saddam Hussein and they later uh, killed Saddam Hussein under, uh, I think it was George Bush, uh, his son, all right, Junior. Now, which also uh, kicked off uh, September 11th, so I'm going to get into that as well. But check this out, man. The United States interest in the Middle East so this was all prophetic, and the Most High drove them into a land barren and desolate. And you see a pointing at it right here. And this is called Arabia, all right, and uh, Kuwait, or going up into Iraq. And it said with their, um, hold on, let me get this. It says, Desert Shield and Desert Storm. And I was about 10 years old at that time. 
And I remember seeing all the shit on the news when it came on the news. And um, the Gulf War, August 9th, 1990, March 1991. Now you see here it says uh, Jeb Bush, George Bush, uh, George W. Bush. All right. And this is George Bush Sr. That's the one that helped him get into there. And they tried to leave this area to the left for Jeb Bush, but he never, he dropped out of um, office. You know, didn't make presidency. So they were planning on taking this area, right? And, and ultimately going into Iran, setting up military bases all over the place, right? America is known to have the most military bases all around the world um, and also teaming up with NATO. So, and they want to go into Syria and ultimately Iran in a war with Russia. All right. But the Lord drove them over to this area. So they were what? Going to perdition. And they would be known as the wicked. As death and hell. It's them, man. They're the cause. Of, they're causing it. Now, where it says uh, is hinder point, hinder part towards the, um, um, the, the you know, the, the sea. Uh, I can't remember. Get the scripture again. Joel two and twenty. But I will remove far off from you, the northern army. All right. Um, and the northern army is talking about North America. And will drive him into a land barren and desolate, because the scriptures say the Lord controls the minds of the kings. All right, and turns it as the river. Speaking of now verbatim. With his face towards the east sea and his hinder part towards the utmost sea. All right. And his stink shall come up. Which is crazy, right? So now it says his, his hinder part towards the um towards this sea right here, man. <laughs> I keep forgetting. But anyway, uh his hinder part towards the sea right here, talking about the Red Sea. And his uh his face towards the East Sea. And that East Sea is talking about right here, the Caspian Sea. All right. But you have the Black Sea and the Caspian, but they used to be connected and they still connected through certain channels. But what it's talking about is the Lord sent their armies up into this area. All right, into Saudi Arabia, which was oh, this was originally called um Joktan and Shem, the land of Shem. But, um, and now uh, you have Ramah up in here. So it's, it says, um, now the Lord had the army set up shop here. They, sell a, they set up military bases and they called it what? Operation Desert Storm. And they went into Kuwait, went into Iraq, which was Babylon, to, uh, uh, ancient Babylon, right? Samaria. Um, Samaria and uh, Babylon which is today called Iraq and now you've been hearing about what? Syria you've been hearing about Turkey you've been hearing about Russia right? which is ancient that area was called media you've been hearing about our China which is more to the right you've been hearing about Iran see that? And even India you know so all of that is for the Lord to bring about what? The, the war of Armageddon and for Esau to play their part as the wicked upon earth man, and being deaf in hell. Representations of it. Now let's move on to his son. All right. George Bush Jr. And you see they got it. <laughs> they got the wanted poster for it. They, you know, but yeah, they got all these foreign nations. They're trying to, um, you got people like uh, Russia and all these other countries, Iran, you know, they're saying they want to um, uh, lock George Bush up, man, give him the death penalty for all the murder they com uh, did, have done over there in the Middle East and also here in America because they had a lot to do with September 11th when he was sitting in that room with the children reading the damn nursery book, you know, at the same time when uh, 
the planes hit a, hit the towers, so that way they, they can have an excuse to to go into the uh at the uh, Saddam Hussein or what's his name, Bin Laden. All right, moving further into the Middle East. And they shut down the world banking, uh, what was that, the banking system that was tied to the Twin Towers, all right, which is all establishment to set up this new world order, the cryptocurrency and things like that, all right? So it says George Bush Jr., age 56, for, it says what, if wanted, <laughs> and they got it in crimson red. All right. Inside for crime, for high crimes of tre and treason, insider trading, stock dumping, investment fraud and cover up, withholding vital intelligence information, delaying investigations into September 11th, harboring known international terrorists, war profiteering, uh, constitutional crimes, man. All right, so he said, if you see this man caught, <laughs> so you know they they been they joking, but um, and also he set up what the Patriot Act, you know, which put in place um to dub all Americans as terrorists. All right, that's why the police walk up to you and they say, hey, you look suspicious, you know, since September 11th happened. Now nah, that's that's because of the Patriot Act. That's why they can do that. But you had to, you know, stand your, stand your ground as far as the law and, and um, educate these officers sometimes. All right, look at all this, man. They talking about it. They know about George Bush. He got blood on his hand. Look at this one. It's Esau right there. Blood on his hands. All right? It's crazy. It says, uh, this is a book that came out. It says the prosecution of George W. Bush for murder, written by Vincent uh, Buglioso, Bugliosi. All right. So now let's move on to um. All right. See right here it says George W. Bush war criminal, two hundred sixty nine war crimes, man. And he have Katrina. You know they let them people left them people to die down there, Jake. Um. You have the, um, what was that, Stop and Frisk, which got a lot of people killed. All right. And uh, what they do is they sit in them, they damn they sit on their ranch, you know, some rich ass area, which was left to them by their inheritance or through uh, robbing, stealing, and killing. All right. And they, um, and they, what do they do? See, look at this, man. And they give orders to start wars and kill a lot of people. You know, and they expect, they, they think they're not going to get any judgment for that. This is uh, Isaiah 14 and 12. How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How art thou cut down to the ground, which did us weaken the nations, man? So it's talking about the Illuminati members and ultimately... Um, extending out to America, all right. The leaders, the secret societies of, over America that run America, and uh, all the way up to the elite bankers over there in Europe, all right. So they represent what uh, Lucifer, that that uh, the light bearers, all right. Not the righteous light, but the, the light of darkness. It says they cut down to the ground, which did is weaken the nations. They weaken the nations by stealing their resources with the, with, with the American dollar. You know, they basically weakened the nations by um, uh, uh, having the whore America lay in bed with these nations, you know, and, and uh, weakening these nations. It says, For thou hast said in thine heart, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars. And even today they're trying to do that with their space programs. And their pride, man. All right, calling themselves God, the power, the only truth. They call themselves the power. I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. All right, that's America. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds, 
I will be like the Most High. Yet thou shalt be brought down to hell to the size of the pit. They that ne'er all the way from America, from the rooter to the tutor, from America to Europe, the Lord going to destroy it. All right. He's going to destroy their whole system, man, from the dragon to the beast all the way to America. All right. That's who's running um, the Illuminati. They that see thee, and that's what this lady was doing by exposing uh, uh, America and pulling up her skirt, according to the scriptures. All right. Um, uncovering America's nakedness, making America the gazing stock. This is all scripture. And what are they doing? They're, they're, um, they're coming out in the open and calling these people murderers, man. That's the spirit speaking, man. <laughs> that they, they that see thee shall narrowly look upon thee and consider thee, saying, is this the man that made the earth to tremble, that did it shake kingdoms, that made the world a wilderness and destroyed the cities thereof, that opened not the house of his prisoners, all right? And that's what they've done. What do they call that shit? Um, uh, all the prisons in America. They have that place over there in the Middle East. Um, what is it called, man? All right, I don't have to get it. I think it's called Guantanamo Bay. They don't open the house of their prisoners. They're keeping all them prisoners in there, man. You know, with no type of judgment. And even in America, uh, they don't open the house of their prisoners. You know, and they haven't let the children of Israel free either. It says, all the kings of the nations, even all of them, lie in glory, every one in his own house. Um, so I'm going to skip back to the point because I don't want to go too far into that. Uh, but all the nations and other people, even though Esau, which is uh, Satan divided against Satan, they're looking in the mirror, pointing at themselves, saying, murderer. <laughs> now you have uh, Clinton, and I'm not going to get too far into the topic dealing with her, but... Um, if you know about Marvel Comics, uh, Stan Lee, when he got his, he got Marvel Comics stolen from him, man. That's why you you only see him pop up in the movies, or he have say so on what goes on with it. But he he lost Marvel Comics. They say he died poor. But then you had um, Hillary Clinton, the person that stole, um, um what's the name, uh, Marvel Comics from Stan Lee. Hillary Clinton did deals with him. I did a lesson on it in the, in the past. She did deals with him to where um, he basically funded her fundraisers. But then um, when he got booked for, you know, some type of whatever he was dealing with, the Clintons act like they didn't know this guy that was investing in them, you know. And they, it, uh, the guy came out and was exposing Hillary Clinton. Like, yeah, man, she she did this, she did that. And I did take care of them. Look, here's the proof. And they had this man kidnapped, man, and sent his ass to a damn foreign country uh, prison and put him under the damn dirt under de in the desert. And he made it out of there and was able to tell his family and shit and tell and tell the, tr the truth of what happened. So that damn Hillary Clinton is, is a demon. And forget Bernie Sanders. I just want to focus on the right side right here. Uh, this, this right here, whatever this is, not right and left. I ain't talking about that. You got to be careful with Esau. What I mean is um, on this column right here, Hillary Clinton says what? Iraq war authorization. Hmm. What's that say? They're going to drive them off to a land barren and desolate. They enlarge their desire as hell with their uh, hinder part towards the, uh, the uh, hindermost sea and their face towards the utmost sea. All right, towards the Caspian Sea, going towards Iraq and Iran. Starting off from Saudi Arabia and Kuwait, near the Red Sea. It says what? That she supported it. Wall Street bailout supported it. Them getting billions of dollars, but they won't bail out uh, its, its uh, own citizens, the poor. So that, that that's the elite bankers getting more money right here. All right. Breaking up big banks, Patriot Act 2001, she supported it. It's crazy, man. She want to keep the big banks together. And she supported the Patriot Act, which, which called all Americans 
uh, citizens um, terrorists. Patriot Act reauthorization 2006, so that was Patriot Act 2, to where they reconfirmed it or amended it. Foreign U.S. military intervention, meaning um, they uh, neither keep it at home, right? So she's for that. She supports it. Trans-Pacific Partnership death penalty supports it. Murderer, man. It's crazy, huh? You know, they do it because what? It's in the power of their hand, man. The earth was given into the hand of the wicked. You know, now I briefly want to move on with um, Obama. Now, Obama's a Hamite, all right, so um, he's not our people. All right, just because we're the same color, you go over to Africa, they have what tribal marks to show distinction between the, uh, the two tribes, all right, because that's what we were called before. We used to call ourselves by tribes, um, but we were Israelites, and the Africans are Hamites, they're heathens. So, Obama, he's a Kenyan, but he's a, a heathen. So, um, and they make deals with these devils, just like Jake do. But anyway, total killed and total civilians reported killed by CIA drones under President Bush and Obama. Now, you see that Bush had a lot of blood on his hands, man. Um, more than 500. But this is talking about with the drones specifically. All right. So it says strikes. Look, see how it increased? Minimum people reported killed. Look at this. 2,000, 3,000 almost. That's under Obama. Didn't know that, did you? That's their saint. That's that's their peacekeeper, right? But he was authorizing drone strikes, which was killing thousands of people. And, it, and it, so, sheesh, man. These people here, man. And they approved the gay gay rights, all kind of stuff, man. Painted the damn White House uh, a rainbow color. At the same time, and he swore in on the Bible and switched up Bibles, all this crazy stuff. And he swore in on the Masonic Bible, a, sw a Masonic book that they have, you know. And they swore in on the Bible, which the Bible says you're not supposed to swear. And they have their inaugurations to where they become what? Warlocks. Are right, using their witchcraft and philosophies to bring about war and demonocracy around the world. But look at this, man. Murderers, man. That was the scriptures. That was, and the word crime goes back to what? All right, this is the word crime, etymology. An action or omission that constitutes an offense that may be prosecuted by the state and is punishable by law. Now, in their own law, uh, they have it to where you're not supposed to... Uh, Murder, all right? But they do it every day. You know? Esau, on the streets with the police and over it with the military. And what what they call the mob and these damn uh, gangsters. An action of activity that, although not illegal, is considered to be evil, shameful, or wrong. All right? So why is it called evil? It's called what? Sin. All right, so that's what makes them what? In the sense, wickedness, sin. All right, so that's what Esau is. The earth was given into the hand of the wicked. Micah 2 and 1. Woe to them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds. When the morning is light, they practice it because it is in the power of their hand. And they covet fields and take them by violence. And the scriptures call Esau a violent, a violent man and houses and take them away so that they oppress a man in his house, even a man in his heritage. And you, you can't, it, it shows the nature of the beast. It shows the nature of Esau that um, can a leopard change the spots, man. And, it, and they, the scriptures say that they're going to what gain the fatness of the earth with the sword. All right, the, Robbing, stealing, and killing. And that's what they've been doing, man. And anybody that follows after that, they're what? Following after their father, the devil. The lust of their father, they will do. He was a murderer from the beginning. All right? Now, um, Zechariah 11 and 4. It says, Thus saith Yahweh, my power, feed the flock of the slaughter. That's why we feed the children of Israel with this word, man, to Strengthen you, all right? 
It says, whose possessors slay them. And we were slain um, in slavery, in, even in the Roman Empire, right? Um, all the way up until today. And they still slay, slaying our people. And they, they um, even bringing hell upon themselves and these the rest of the heathens. All right. It says, whose possessors slay them and hold themselves not guilty. They hold themselves not guilty. That's why they call themselves the family to where they, they tell each other, you're not guilty. You're forgiven. But the Lord is saying, nah, you're guilty. And you know, the blood is going to be on your hands. And they that sell them say, Blessed be Yahweh, for I am rich, and their own shepherds pity them not. All right, I'm going to end it with this. Isaiah 14 and uh, 21. Prepare slaughter for his children, for the iniquity of their fathers. See, this is, this is the Most High's will towards you Edomites. He declares you as guilty. He's the judge. And when he opens the books, and the books are open, which they're open right now, and he's pushing whoever to the left and whoever to the right. You know, he's going to give you your judgment according to the things you've done in this body, in your body. All right. Um, in your past life and in this uh, and in this life, he's going to set you up for your future. All right. To be in slavery. Prepare slaughter for his children. I'm talking about Bush, George, Daddy Bush, you slave owners for the iniquity of their fathers. That they do not rise, nor possess the land, nor fill the face of the world with cities, man. So they're going to be cut off from uh, being that um, lion-like scar from the Lion King. Going around the world with his hyenas seeking who he may devour. You know, with, with his other proxy nations. For I will rise up against them, to Esau, Say if Yahweh of hosts and cut off from Babylon. See, the focus is going to start with Babylon, America. The name, right? All that white power stuff. And remnant. You know, the founding fathers, you're going to cut off the, your remnant. And sons and nephews, say if Yahweh, man. Deep. And I will also make it a possession for the bittern and pools of water. And I will sweep it with the best of destruction. All right. Yahweh of hosts have sworn. And he said, what? Esau is a nation that you have a perpetual hatred against. All right. It says, uh, the Lord have sworn saying, surely as I have thought, so shall it come to pass. And as I have purposed, so shall it stand. 